Spock, where do you think we should start looking for this? Brassica? Logic suggests that they will present us with opportunities to come to them. Captain, a message from Starfleet. On screen. Captain, the USS Regulus has been forced to cancel its survey mission to the Antares Rift. We've decided to redirect the Enterprise to that mission. The USS Hood will take over for your current assignment. Of course, the Antares Rift has a rather dangerous reputation. Nothing the Enterprise can't handle. But be careful. Starfleet out. Good morning everybody, Olaf here and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek <coughs> Judgment Rights, excuse me, goodness gracious. Okay, so yes, uh, we are back at it again, we need to go to navigation. Uh, over here the far right looks kind of like a red swirl, bada boom, this guy. And looks like we hit the right spot, I hope. Um, yeah, this Captain's is... Captain's log, Stardate 6257.6. We have entered the Antares Rift. Right. Spatial disruptions in the Rift that make using warp engines extremely dangerous. Repairs are almost complete on the minor damage we suffered upon entry into the Rift. We are continuing our survey using impulse engines. My poor babies. Warp engines were meant to be used, Captain. Communications are better Yeah, alive, but you Captain. don't want to... 93% uh, power and increasing. Captain, undoubtedly cool. this phenomenon would explain many of the strange disappearances in this sector. Still, with our warp engines deactivated, our computers indicate we will be safe. Oh, way to go, Spock. You say something like that, and then all hell breaks loose. Communications are out again, Captain. Is anyone hurt? If you was human, Mr. Spock's pride might be... Captain, sensors failed to indicate anything unusual prior to the explosion. I would uh -huh. suggest that it was caused by an extremely unusual rift in the space-time continuum. A place where radically different physical laws apply. And since it was different space-time, our sensors weren't programmed to detect it. And it could happen again at any time without warning. Great! Um... Ideas, Mr. Walker? I'm a security guard, sir, not an idea man. <laughs> Still, if we could send out probes to detect these rifts, we might get a better idea on whether they're moving or not, and whether we should stop and make repairs or keep moving. Well, I'm not a bad so idea. What's our status? Very bad, Captain. Whatever hit the Enterprise hit us right in our own neighborhood. The hull is breached six meters from the bridge. Beyond that, the instruments are useless. I can't read or send anything through these controls. We'll need a starbase to make this bridge functional again. Scotty, how about auxiliary control? Captain, I cannot determine the status of anything beyond the place where the rupture occurred. Right. The rest of the ship could be dead as far as we know. Status, Mr. Sulu. Helm is not responding, Captain. The controls are completely dead. Status, Mr. Chekhov. Captain, navigation is not responding. The circuits are as lifeless as a Stalinist. <laughs> wow. Any ideas, Lieutenant? I uh. was barely able to reroute the necessary connections last time, Captain. Communications are completely useless now. We may be able to enter codes into the library computer and instruct others to send messages to us. Possibly. Spock? Captain, I believe I may be able to adjust the sensors to detect these spatial rifts and pilot the Enterprise to avoid them. However, the sensors are too heavily damaged here. I will need to get to auxiliary control as right. soon as if I am to reroute the necessary systems. Mr. Spock, but we I'll don't know. Breach just outside of the bridge. No one's going to be able to leave the bridge for at least an hour unless they're transported out. All right, so Spock. Captain, the library computer is online. Apparently, its circuits were shielded from the right. And then I have managed to bring yeah. a message Do what over it said. Computer. The first time a person accesses the computer, they will read our distress signal. Hopefully, they can code a reply into the computer, which we can access. Good idea. Captain, the transporters are operational. I request permission to be transported. 
so I can begin the adjustments to sensors as soon as possible. There's go no, ahead, there's no guarantee no that there's. I'll go first. Go ahead, Spock. I just say there's no guarantee that anything past the bridge ha is in in any condition to support life, but uh, go for it. Spock. Uh, what? That uh that 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 was not normal. That was not good. So okay, so I don't know if Spock like became that little or what. Um Sulu, can you figure out what the hell happened? I mean, you're not going to be doing any good anyway, because the helm is dead. I'm patching your log into the computer. You should have voice messages. Captain, we've managed to jury-rig an evacuation tube through the bridge turbo lift. We should be able to keep it stable long enough for you to be evacuated. Okay, cool. Everybody, into the turbo lift. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get off the bridge. All right, um... Transporter room, no, we wanna do auxiliary control. That's where Spock was headed. Captain's log. After equipping ourselves with tricorders and phasers, we are now searching for a way to find Spock and return him to us. I've determined that the best place to start is where he went. Um, that's like lightning. Those are like lightning bolts. I am. Captain, it's a very good thing we took the warp engines offline. How bad is it, Scotty? That explosion was 42% stronger than the one that struck near the bridge. Our left warp nacelle is crippled, Captain. I hope it's not a trend. Keep me posted, Mr. Scott Kirk out. Okay. So. Oh. <sighs> All right, so we got hit by another round of, 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 of lightning bolts. Yay! Um, okay. Kirk to Scott. Come in, Scotty. Kirk to Uhura. Kirk to Sick Bay. Computer. Kirk to Scott. Captain, I got bad news for you. This rift is affecting the hull of the ship. Our hull integrity is dropping fast. How bad is it, Scotty? It's at 92% and dropping rapidly. According to our system specs, if it drops below 63%... Put as much powers as you can to the shields. Use uh, them to support our hull integrity. Okay, um... Divert as much power as you can to the sensors. Let's find out what's causing this. Evacuate all people from the... Put as much power... Divert as much power you know what? as you can to the sensors. There's no guarantee... Let's, we'll let's see if we can find out... Captain. That's a risk I'm prepared to take. Kirk out. Okay, so, um... What's Our in highest here? priority is control of the sensors. We must find Spock. I'll handle it, Captain. Remember, I was a physicist when I first joined the Enterprise. Ah, <laughs> Captain, look! Hi, guy! Captain. Well, that what was rude. It our alien friend likes its privacy. Yeah, but I'm not... Ah, <laughs> okay. Um Will the, the door open? Have locked the door, Captain. Okay, fine then. I hate doing this to our own ship, but Uh we've succeeded the door to put a hole. Auxiliary control. The panel next to it indicates that it is locked. We we have succeeded in shooting a hole in the door. Oh, but you know what? Uh, I bet we can, uh, can we, can we scan through that hole? Captain, I'm getting a sensor reading on the alien. Cool. I'm sure Dr. McCoy will find this data very interesting. I'm sure. Okay, uh, so I'm guessing we're gonna need to go to sickbay? 
to actually give him a uh, sick bay. Yes. Hey, Bones. Well, Jim, I leave you alone for five minutes and look at the mess you've made. Ha ha ha. Uh, we have some information for you. No, I. Young human male in average physical condition. Average, damn. That's not even cool. Uh, no, Bones. Jim, what is going on out there? Spock is gone, Bones. He was transporting off the bridge, and then he vanished, and then this alien appeared in auxiliary control. An alien kidnapped Spock? Why? You're I assuming that's we not to get Spock, him though. Jim, this says our invaders are Vorians. Vorians? But they're extinct. They died out at the time that Cochrane invented the warp drive. They were slaughtered in the Three Systems War. Jim, I know my history, but I also know my anatomy. The alien in auxiliary control is a Vorian. There's only one strange thing. What's that? This creature isn't capable of doing some of the things that you described. It's an ordinary Vorian. No special organs, no unusual brain patterns, Nothing that traditionally suggests superhuman feats. Can you neutralize it? Right, but we're Actually, in this. A and yes, I know of something that can incapacitate it without harming it. A gas mixture. You'll have to pump large quantities into auxiliary control for it to be effective. Okay. It work almost immediately. Cool. Here's the gas, Jim. Be careful with it. There hasn't been a Vorian in 150 years. Right. Okay, so now we need to find a, a vent to pump it into that's gonna... All right, let's take a look at auxiliary control and see if we can't find... I don't see any vents here. Okay. We can go to transporter room, we can go to engineering. Captain, there has been an explosion near the shuttle bay. I'm fine. There has been no significant damage. Any luck communicating with Starfleet Command? I have made contact with the light cruiser USS Jefferson, sir. It will reach the edge of Antares Rift in 16 hours. The Rift is playing havoc with communications. Thank you, Lieutenant Kirkout. Right, life's, oh, duh, because we should have a life support computer here. Life support control systems. Uh-huh. This monitors and controls the ship's life support. Thank you. Deflector control. This seems pointless. This leads into the Jeffries tube and is sealed due to a hull breach. Right, okay. Impulse engine fuel control systems. This system monitors fuel you- Thank you. Yes. I, I, I got that. Uh, so... Not in there, Captain. Put the gas in the life support pump, then use the controls. Right, where's the, where's the pump? Captain, please. It's a very unpleasant smell, Captain. This seems pointless. Thanks. Impulse engine fuel- Deflector. Life support control. Life support. Life support. Yeah, but where's. Life support. Life, life This scene. This leads. This scene. This scene. This scene. Artificial gravity. This scene. This device stores special chemicals that are pumped into the ship's atmosphere when needed. Ah, okay. So we need to put this in here? And then use life control, life support controls. I wish Dr. McCoy had given me the specs on that gas injection system. It looks like a rather clumsy fit. I'll do it, Scotty. You'd think that Dr. McCoy would have some respect for engineering. Why? He, he doesn't like, he doesn't even like transporters. Come on. Let's see how our alien friend likes Dr. McCoy's medicine. Probably as much as we do, Hikaru. Mr. Kyle, can you transport me to auxiliary control? Aye, sir. But I have to remind you how dangerous intership transporting can be. 
We've really been pushing our luck today. I'm aware of that, Mr. Kyle, but we have to take the risk. And that's actually a point, is transporting from one point to another without transporter pads uses up a lot of energy. Look, something's happening. He's gone! Great! Right, okay, so... This station is functioning normally, Captain. Good. Okay, so... These readings look normal to me. This looks like a normal course, right, Pavel? Normal. It's an excellent course. The same one I entered before the alien came on board the ship. Okay, so... Captain, the what? diagram cannot be adjusted except by changing the use. Captain, we can't affect the dilithium model. Okay, that's it's fine. Not, nothing to report. Everything seems to be working. Mr. Sulu, see if you can find where the Vurian went. Maybe that will lead us to Spock. I was gonna say, it's like, come on, there's gotta be something Captain, we can do I'm here. Detecting the Vurian. She mm -hmm. seems to have vanished through a rift in space. I have the coordinates of her last known location. Okay. So, here's what I'm thinking, is there's a rift in space, and basically we are in the same place as a Vurian ship, uh, except for like one, 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 like, changed through time or something like that. So... Um... Okay, so we have, we have her coordinates. And somehow, when when Spock transported, they transported. Mr. Kyle, and the coordinates where the alien teleported. Captain, they they changed you're places. They transport you into another dimension. Yeah. I be able to lock onto you there. I'm aware of the risk, Mr. Kyle. You have your orders. Aye, sir. Energize. Captain's personal log. I have transported to many strange places in my day, but beaming into an alien dimension is something entirely unique. Yeah, Only dangerous. Only risk to my ship and my friend Spock would cause me to take such a drastic risk. This doesn't look like a nice place to visit. There's the Vurian. I don't see Spock. It's got to be around here somewhere. Okay, let's save real quick. Save new game. Replace pre- Okay. Oh, this is getting kind of intense and kind of like, ugh. So yes, um. Uh, so they, there are, okay. Let's 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 talk to the first Lord Kirk. Lord Kirk. I regret the discomfort that I put you through on your ship. I wish only to preserve my joy by serving the Savant. Are you where is Spock? How did you come to be here? What were you doing on my ship? Are you willing to help me, Eminata? Possibly. Yeah. I am aware of your ship's distress. I can bring it to the attention of the Savant. It may help. Actually, I was thinking more about what is the Savant. I would appreciate the Savant being informed. Actually, I was thinking more what is the Savant. I would appreciate the Savant. Sure. Why the not? Savant awaits. All right. So let's save again because save we again. are all out of time for today. As always, thank you very much for watching. And stay tuned for more from Olav. Productions. If you want to see some crazy Here we go. Lazy, you should meet me and my friends. Even though we got no money, run and hope, money, uh, run and hope that they miss you on the back with the bows. Ooh, 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 Pretty much the only way to do it. Variation of the idea of zombies. There is a disease that for them causes them to turn purple, at least in the cartoon. It was actually.